what's up guys welcome back for another um, metagame breakdown video this time it has been i believe two weeks and past weekend we again had a couple of remote tool extravaganzas plus a couple of um, other local tournaments so let's take a look a lot of lists ready most of them i guess from the remote tool extravaganzas i feel most people already saw they have been popping up on facebook but uh, finally found the time to, you know, get into them. Let's zoom in. The first one is the English Extravaganza. A little under 100 players. And, I mean, if you take a look right side, uh, more detailed, top 8. Um, it it kind of feels the same as past ones, right? There is a lot of diversity in the current TCG format. Very similar to the OCG format. And again, you know, Zoo, or, well, Tri Brigade being the deck to beat. But followed by uh, a lot of other decks. Virtual World, Brankets, Ignister, to some extent, a Tritron, a little bit underperforming, um, as I feel, and then some fusion decks invoked with or without Shadows. But without further ado, first place from the English one was um, Fusions. Uh, can I call it the fusion deck? Invoked, Null Summon, Alistair, a small Dogmatica package. I like the one of Eltish in the main deck, even though it's not really, um, I mean, I guess the only... Um, advantage, uh, I guess, is off of Shadow Fusion for Construct. To send it from your deck to the uh, graveyard and then, you know, potentially reborn it. So, um, I like that. That's a cool deck. Um, so, 41 cards in a minute, but again, Shadow Schism is, um, is a very powerful card. Small Dogmatica package, right side. Herman Hansen, any surprises here for that particular list? Well, we've seen him running Chalice and, um, I mean, we've seen a lot of Tri Brigade lists. But um, that chalice in the main neck is quite nifty. A uh, couple of one-offs. Um, personally, I feel it's quite strange, but I mean, it's Herman Hansen. He knows what he's doing. Those uh, ratios kind of remind me of some OCG decklist main making uh, the crossout designator. Who knows uh, when we will be getting that one. But only Biru, one droplet and um, no strikes in the main neck. Most tribigate lists are running that, uh, you know, or at least are running more traps, trap heavy builds. Left side, third place, um, Drytron again, no surprises. Ah, well, the Ready Fusion at three. Not sure if it's really an expensive card, but, mm, you know, it's one of those cards that's very similar to Instant Fusion. Could have, like, uh, you know, its spot in some, uh, in some deck lists, I mean, in some archetypes. Right side, uh, Virtual Road, I feel uh, very similar to Drytron, is somewhat underperforming, even though the deck is, is strong still. But, um, yeah, it's simple. Other decks are maybe much more consistent, much, much less vulnerable to disruption and hand traps. But again, keep an eye out for this. Dragoon is still there and is used by Virtual World. Left side, um, again, no surprises. I guess very similar, if not the same, to Raphael Navis. This from a couple of weeks ago from the Remote Duel YCS. Right side, Jay Quincy, if I'm not mistaken, right? We have Prankets. Um, no surprise. Well, maybe one is that the Parallax Seat Dragon. Uh, only two of. I kind of agree. Some deck lists like Trap Tricks. I like only running two, but, you know, sometimes I'm reading in the comment section you should be running three. Kind of increasing the chances of at least opening one. But, well, okay. If you could open two or if you open two, it's uh, dead if you only play two, right? But I kind of prefer two as well in like Trap Tricks or here in this case, indeed, in uh, Prank It's. Almost there. Seventh place, at Ignister. Ignister kind of feels the same as... Well, like salads will be, uh, there's only one list in the video, if I'm not mistaken. It's there, it's good, but it's not good enough compared to the, you know, other arc uh, uh, archetypes uh, currently in the TCG format. And last but not least, another Tri Brigade deck list. Again, somewhat trap heavy oriented, as we've seen before. Let's move on to the German speaking extra, well, you know, the German extravaganza, a little under uh, 70 players. Top 8 can kind of feels the same as the other ones. Was, well, we see Phantom Knights over there. So let's take a look. Uh, first and second place, both uh, Tri Brigade lists. So that's not super interesting again. We've seen this list before. Some small changes between like the hand traps and maybe the trap part of the engine or deck. Left side third place again, uh, Tri Brigade Zodiac. Nothing too spectacular. Right side Prankets. Um, it's one of those decks that it's super annoying to play against if they can get their, you know, two card combo off. Um, what used to you? Well, 
okay, their link one makes the deck quite uh, consistent or much more consistent than it was before. Hence why we are seeing it much more now in a TCG format. Uh, left side, I guess the only one Dragon Link player. Um, it's not, you know, pulling through after its uh, wins are, you know, more tops uh, past a couple of weeks. But it's still there. It's still strong, but, you know, it's missing LP, for example. While right side, again, Johannes. Uh, we've seen him topping. I guess he's topping every extravaganza uh, past a couple of months, right? Um, typical build. I remember him running like, or preferring the, the Tri Brigade Rescue Cat build. Uh, so that's cool. Triple Bells in the main deck also. Last but not least, 7th place, again, tri uh, Gate indeed, while right side, again, that's something, um, it might be the same player, very similar to the, you know, Phantom Knight decklist from, was it two weeks ago, might be the same player. Um, coolest, might give this one a try, I mean, Torikite is at 3, Triple Veiler and, you know, the full Phantom Knight engine plus Dragoons, must be nice. Uh, let's move on. French tournament was um, uh, indeed won by Samir uh, Bashar, I believe. You know, uh, it's uh, pronounced. You might know Samir. He's the, or at least he was a European champion. Uh, champion indeed back in 2016 with a pendulum smudge specter, right? Um, so again, that name might ring a bell. Virtual world and that C card in the main deck it kind of works out. It's a meta call, but you know it might be dead against uh, particular decks. Are specific decks but I mean it's it's a card you could definitely side out and might give you the advantage in the first duel. Uh, prank it's again second place no immediate surprises over here third place a very similar ball okay twin twisters in the main deck um, expecting a more rogue I guess well kind of paid off here with the older guys player it has been a while but mystic mine is still a card kind of baffles me mystic mine is still there at three um, well, I guess it's one of those cards that's kind of forcing players to, you know, put those anti-Mystic Mind cards in the extra, or, you know, side deck, like Twin Twister, for example. So, who knows, the card might not be touched at all, but that's for October. Again, Tri Brigades, no surprise. Well, I guess the Phantasm is, and then finally some Salman Greats, even though, you know, they got Mirage Telio back in the TCG a couple of weeks ago, well, with our latest ban list. It's, um, well, the other Cybers deck... Uh, Etic Nisser, same ratio, or very similar, or weak tops here and there sometimes, but it's not pulling through. It need, needs more in the case of Salomon Grades, only one circle definitely hurts. Then um, top 8, uh, Ryan, you know Ryan, he was the winner of the latest YCS in real life, YCS Utrecht, if I'm not mistaken. Again, feel free to correct me. And uh, this list caught my attention. Uh, it has been, at least it was revealed last week, I believe, the first place B Trooper uh, Locals. Um, but still, I mean, I, I, I've been looking into B Trooper or Insects, but uh, with Insectors as well, but um, I'm waiting for the new Insector card. So stay tuned. I need some time to get myself into the, you know, the, the quote-unquote new B Troopers plus the um, you know, Insector support that should be coming out soon for us TCG players. Uh, first place again, another fusion deck, uh, normal summon Alistair, again, nothing too spectacular, this was a cool one, might try this one out again with, um, um, you know, Magical Musketeers, uh, the Amazement uh, strategy, it's, it's, we haven't seen Amazements uh, too, well, at least the representation too high, sometimes here and there, Trap Tricks, Musketeers seems to be the deck to, you know, combine uh, Amazement or the Amazement archetype with but it's definitely something I want to try out. Should be coming up soon if I, you know, find the time. Sky Strikers again, also one of those archetypes less decks that, you know, they got back engaged, but it's not enough. Who knows? Our next ban list should be around October. Um, imagine, like in the OCG Sky Striker engage back to two. It might happen, guys. Imagine. Uh, let's move on. And um, last two deck lists are. Um, are decks that I again might want to try out really soon again, Evil Twins, Life Twins, um, I'm not sure, at least I'm not super keen on the hybrid with uh, Elblish, but it's there, people have been suggesting it in my latest or you know, last um, Evil Twin uh, deck video, but again, not super keen on it, but it definitely works out, right, Evil Twin is a very strong, splashable engine, while the last deck is a more pure build, well, pure as in the evil twin package plus parallax sea dragon that's not uh, you know I, I mean that that's normal 
for evil twins, plus a huge amount of hand traps, right? But um, uh, that's the thing with evil twins in the OCG, they already got their Link 4, while in the TCG we don't have that yet, if I'm not mistaken. Um, but it definitely gives the deck a big boost. It might do better uh, when we actually get that Link 4 trouble, I believe the name is, uh, in the TCG, but it's super underperforming in the OCG, but we know why, right? Um, so yeah, again, not too many big differences with our current TCG format compared to a couple of weeks ago. This might just stay the same going into like late August, uh, September, and then, you know, in like a month, I guess we can speculate on our next uh, TCG forbidden and limited list. Okay, guys, that's it. Thanks for watching. Feel free to leave a card or like if you enjoyed the video. Leave him signing out. Peace.